Italy has put its foot to the floor in the race to deliver vaccines, making up for lost time. In some cases, the absence of medical staff over the Christmas period was reported as one of the causes of the initial delay. But the worst seems to be over. The Italian health minister confirmed that the much-needed acceleration is finally underway. Once the second batch of almost half a million doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccines will be delivered, the aim is to vaccinate up to 70,000 people a day. Authorities plan to keep increasing this number to reach the target of nearly 6 million by the end of March. This ambitious plan will not be possible without the additional doses Italy is expecting from both the Moderna and the AstraZeneca vaccines. Italy is still waiting for the European Medicines Agency to approve the second one, which is both cheaper and easier to administer. And the country could soon rely on a locally produced vaccine after the government said results of the Italian Reitera vaccine phase one trial were encouraging. Despite the vaccination drive being in full swing, differences among regions remain. The number of vaccines that have been administered so far varies from one region to another. The shortage of medical staff across the country is the main problem. 15,000 healthcare workers, among which university graduates, will be recruited by the government to fill the gap. If things go as planned, there will be 1,500 vaccination hubs in place across the country by the end of March. But the main achievement, as explained by Domenico Arcuri, Italy's COVID-19 emergency commissioner, would be to conclude the campaign by the end of next August. The task is demanding. According to experts, between 60 and 70 percent of the population would need to be vaccinated by then to see results. And as the vaccine is not compulsory, the campaign's success will very much depend on numbers. According to a recent survey, nearly half of the Italians are still skeptical over its safety. Giorgio Orlandi, Euronews, Rome.